This is a tour of Mobile Air Mouse for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Mobile Air Mouse is an in-air mouse controller that gives you full control over your Mac or PC and acts as a remote control for all your media and internet applications. The first feature I'd like to show you is the in-air mouse control. In this mode, you control your computer by pointing your iPhone at the screen of your computer and moving your hand in the direction you want your cursor to go. To activate the movement, simply hold down the trigger button in the center of the mouse and move your hand around. To click, you can double tap the trigger button or tap the left or right mouse buttons. Right below the trigger is a scroll area. You can drag your finger across this area to scroll up and down or left to right. Another option we provide to control your mouse is a trackpad, which you can switch to by clicking the swap button in the upper right hand corner of the screen. The trackpad works just like the one you use on your laptop except that it was designed to work with your thumb so that it can be held like a remote control and used in the air with one hand. It also has left and right mouse buttons and a scroll pad too. Now you may think the scroll pad is on the small side, but as you can see, once you start scrolling, you can use the entire front of the screen. The same is true for the trackpad itself. So although it looks small, once you start moving, you can use the whole screen. So it's actually a lot of space to work with. However, if you'd like to use the whole screen as your trackpad without having the keyboard in the way, we give you that option as well. To hide the keyboard, simply flick your iPhone in a downward motion and the keyboard will slide away. And now you have the full screen trackpad to work with. But since most monitors are widescreen these days, we also offer a landscape trackpad as well. To bring it up, all you need to do is rotate your iPhone. In this mode, you can use the trackpad exactly as you would on your laptop. We move the scroll pad to the right and also offer multi-touch gestures, just as you'd find on your MacBook. To scroll, tap two fingers on the trackpad and then scroll in any direction. You can also tap the screen with two fingers to activate a right click. In this mode, the keyboard is hidden by default, but to bring it back, all you need to do is flick your iPhone in an upward direction. Although the keyboard takes up most of the screen now, you can still drag your finger over the entire front of the screen, just as you could before. So now going back to vertical mode, I'll show you some of the features of the keyboard. As you type on the keyboard, your letters are sent to the computer, but also appear on the screen to show you what you're typing. In addition to the iPhone keyboard, we have also added all the extra keys you'd find on a desktop keyboard. To access these, simply press the F icon on the toolbar above the keyboard. Along the top of the keyboard, we've added four customizable hotkeys, which can be programmed to enter a key combination, run a script, or even run a program. These can be set up on the server settings. Just click the hotkey setup button, give your button a name, and assign it a key combination or program to run. The scroll pad can also act as a programmable hotkey as well. By default, it's set up for expose, but you can set it up to do whatever else you'd like it to. In addition to acting as a hotkey, the scroll pad can also be used to zoom in and out of your screen. To do this, simply double tap the scroll pad, but hold your finger down on the second tap. While holding your finger down, just move it up and down to scroll in and out of your computer. Next, I'd like to show you the remote control portion of Mobile Air Mouse. The problem with most remotes is that you typically need a separate button for every function of every media program you have. We wanted something a lot simpler, so we've come up with one screen to control all your media programs, but still give you a lot more control than you'd get with a remote or the media keys on your keyboard. As you can see, while I'm controlling my computer, once I switch to a media application, the media keys automatically come up and they will know exactly which program I am running and how to control it. We've taken the most commonly needed features to control your media programs and put them all in one place. Additionally, there are eight fully custom buttons on both sides of the screen, which offer application specific buttons for whatever program you are currently controlling. By default, we have set up all the most common media programs for your Mac and PC but we've also added the ability to allow you to add as many applications as you want on your own and customize them however you'd like. Our online community-driven database of remotes is constantly growing as we add new programs. The server software automatically download these new remotes for you. Additionally, we've created a whole new way to navigate your media applications. To show you that, I'm gonna bring up Front Row. We'll go ahead and use the hotkey we set up earlier to bring that up. Once it's loaded, the media keys will automatically come up on their own, as you'd expect. 
With programs like Front Row, which were designed to work with a remote, they don't respond to your mouse or scroll wheel. So you are forced to use the Apple remote or your arrow keys to navigate the menus one at a time. You can do this just fine with mobile air mouse, but it can be pretty slow to navigate with one key at a time, especially when you're trying to navigate through long lists of music. So we came up with a much better way to do this. We've created a setting which allows you to use the scroll pad to emulate the same actions you'd get from the arrow keys or your remote, but with much faster and easier movement. Just scroll up and down to navigate menus and tap the scroll pad to select an item. Depending on which screen you're in, the scroll pad will perform different functions. So for instance, when you're playing a song, you can use it to control the volume, or even flip through different tracks by flicking your finger left or right. This is a really great way to navigate programs like Front Row. Now I'm going to switch over to the PC, so I can show you the same functionality on Windows Media Center. On my PC I've set up a password, so I'll just have to enter that to access the computer for the first time. You'll notice that once we connect, the keyboard will now show the Windows modifier keys instead, and our hotkeys are now set up to the ones we've defined on our PC. And the scroll pad will now activate Flip 3D on Windows 7 or Vista. So let's go ahead and start up Windows Media Center. Our media keys come up and we can navigate all the menus using the scroll pad, just like we did in Front Row. Let's start by checking out a DVD. The media buttons can be used to do everything you'd expect from a remote. You can play, pause, forward chapters, and even speed up or slow down the movie by double tapping the next or back buttons. So now let's look at live TV. You can scroll through channels using the scroll pad, then tap the scroll pad to select a channel. We've also included a keypad, so you can change to a specific channel at any time. The play controls also work on the screen for pausing and rewinding live TV. Next, I'd like to show you the web mode. Just like the media mode, once you navigate to a web browser, the screen will now change to the web browser buttons instead. We've also added additional buttons to open new tabs, windows, as well as open a new location, which will also bring up a URL keyboard on the iPhone. Just like the media keys, these are all customizable and will automatically receive new remote definitions as they are created. You'll notice that as I use my computer, the appropriate screens will come up for the kind of program I'm using. But if at any time you want to access the media or web browser buttons, you can use the buttons on the toolbar to do so. When you press one of these buttons, it will show the media or web screen on your iPhone and will also bring up the last used media or web application on your computer as well. Navigating through all your programs from a distance can be a challenge. So we've created an application switcher that will allow you to switch between running applications as well as run your favorite applications with ease. For Mac users, the interface will feel very familiar, and for Windows users, it will give you a taste of what you've been missing. When you connect to your computer, all the icons on the dock of your Mac will be sent to the app. In Windows, it will send all your currently running applications, as well as the programs which are in your Quick Start folder, or the programs you have pinned to your taskbar in Windows 7. As I run my finger over the icons, I get a larger view, as well as see the icon on screen, which I have my finger on. To run or switch to a program, I simply tap the icon of the program. If it's a media or web program that you have a remote for, it will automatically switch to the remote screen for that program. As you run your finger over icons, you can hold your finger in place over an icon to get additional options for that program. If the program is running, it will give you the option to close the program or to hide it. If the program isn't running, you will be given the option to run it. The first icon represents the operating system. Tapping it will switch to your desktop. Holding your finger on this icon will present you with the option to shut down or put the computer to sleep. After putting your computer to sleep, Mobile Air Mouse will automatically try to wake up the computer the next time it tries to connect. And it also has the option to manually wake up any computer on your network. So that concludes our tour of Mobile Air Mouse. We really hope you like all the new features we've been adding. Our goal is to create the most powerful and feature-rich remote for your computer, but still maintain the simplicity and ease of use you've come to expect from the iPhone. We haven't had the chance to explore every feature in detail though through this demo, so please explore our website and user forums to see all that Mobile Air Mouse has to offer.